We're live again. Hang tight. Hello. All right, you guys, let me know that you're here. Oh, good. Kylie's here. Um, let me know that you're here. Give me a thumbs up. Um, like the video. Give me a thumbs up in the chat. Um, I'm closing the other one now. No clue. No clue what happened there. Um, the phone did not ring. So I don't know. Weird internet issues. Just that's really weird because I'm spinning on my, well, I was spinning on my side as well. So i um, not sure what was happening there. So give me just a sec as I, oh gosh, that's a lovely one. Um, okay. I think we're good. All right, let me, while we're, so while, when that happened, when I lost you guys, um, sorry, now I've got big things on my glasses. Um, when I, fingerprints, when I lost you guys, um, oh, I had just run, my tape runner had just run out. So I ran downstairs and grabbed a new refill. And um, I also put the phone on do not disturb. So I'm not sure what happened there, but nobody called. So who knows? Oh, good. Um, Susan from Chattanooga. Fiona, Debbie's Therapy, Karen, Sarah, Kylie. Yes, oh, and plug in. Um, yes, when I rotate, remind me to plug in. Um, all right, friends, so we will, um, <laughs> I know, so good. Um, as soon as I rotate um, Colleen and um, Kylie, I will plug in for sure. That was so weird, yeah, no idea. I know um, poor Jackie was having problems with her internet and they must have jumped over to me because she's in, I think she's in Henderson, Nevada, maybe. And they jumped over to me in Utah. Must be the heat, right? They say heat can do all kinds of things. So maybe the heat's, no, whatever. All right, um, let me just fix my refill here. Yes, gremlins. All right, friends. So um, we'll, have, we'll have some of you back, which is good. Good, good, good. All right, uh, let me just uh, flip the camera. So we're flipping, oh, unplug. Sorry, I had already plugged in. Um, blame the heat, I know, heat's always the issue. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, going to flip the camera. So bear with me. Uh, we'll go in one, two, three. Just so we don't get all dizzy. All right, there we go. All right, plug in. Well, I know. Yeah, we still have one more list to do. So, well, I have one more list to do. Ooh, you may join me. You may not. Okay. Refilling. That was so weird because I don't know when I lost you guys, but I'm, I had started um, adhering or uh, putting my adhesive down, my tape runner, and then um, it just ran out. My refill was just done. And then I lost you guys. Okay, so let's go back to that again. Oopsie. Love it when you have a brand new uh, refill. It just it's like smooth like butter. Okay go yes let's do thumbs up oh diane thank you thank you very nice of you um all right there we go there's that side and now this side yes thumbs up thumbs up please even though it's well you know what it's technology and stuff happens right so who knows who knows what happened the gremlins decided that they didn't want to do the next list all righty. There we go. All right. All right. That's that one turned out really cute. That's fun. Um, totally different than I planned, which is fun. Julianne, Randy got some ice cream during the break. That would be a fun. That would be really fun. I should have gone to grab a one of the skinny cow ice cream sandwiches during the break. Um, yeah, totally different than I thought it would, but I like it. All right, so our next one. Uh, our next one is uh, a one-pager. Oh, yes, it's a one-pager. Um, so I will come back and do it right here. Yeah. Um, I should have grabbed my garbage when we were, when I took the little break, so I'm going to grab it now. All right, so favorite sounds. Um, then I was thinking, oh, we could also do a, a, a like hate sounds, um, too, but we won't do that this time. 
Um, we'll keep it nice and fun and positive. Favorite sounds. All right, so favorite sounds, what I thought I would do. I'm going to use, oh, so look at, I've ended up not using any of my little washi yet. We'll see if we use a washi on this one, maybe. Um, We get all of these things just put off to the side. I'm going to go back to the, um, oh, what was that? What did I use at the beginning? The paper pad, the, not the carefree, the chapters. Um, so where is it? I'm going to use the chapters, some paper from the chapters paper pad again. So that was the one that I started with. Okay, hang on. Uh, oh, here it is, all right. This one. And then I thought I would blend that with some Carefree, Ooh, some Carefree, also from Heidi Swap. So I pulled out Carefree Washi and then also some Carefree stickers. And this one is our favorite sounds. Carefree stickers. And washi mixing with this storyline paper pad. So I still have these two out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a um, one of my clipboard lists. So this will probably be a pretty simple list, but it will be a clipboard list like, oh, like one of these. Um, so that could work. Let's just open up and look. I think I want it to be a little bit more subdued. The good vibes. So good vibes could kind of work because um, good vibes like sound, right? Like sound vibes, sound vibrations. Um, I don't know. I kind of keep coming back to that one. Clearly, because I think I want, I mean, I wanted to use that because that was um, one I had pulled before. So I will do a, I want to do a stamped clip, I think. No, 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 no. No, I'll do a stamped clip, but it won't be with pattern paper this time. So that, I think that's all I need. I think I'm going to do that one. It's really pretty, kind of like that, um, looks like oil paint, brush strokes. But then they also kind of look like little flowers. And then maybe, we'll see. Maybe that little strip that says, write it down, love it, remember this. We'll have to see if that will fit, um, where it will cut off. All right, that's what it's going to be. So storyline chapters mixed with some carefree, single page list right there. We need to grab our, I think I'll be okay, um, clipboard stamp. I was just, um, I was just feeling this. Did you see me do this? I was feeling this because if I stamp, oh no, I'll be fine. Maybe. Um, I'll continue that thought if it needs to be said in a minute. So this will go right here. Let's grab our trimmer. So one page list, it will not really match what's next to it, but that's okay in my book. If you're a scrapbooker, then you probably know that um, when I scrapbook for me and I'm not like designing a class, I do single page layouts and not double. That's just my style. And you could probably guess that when I don't really mind if this isn't a double page. And what goes next to it doesn't necessarily match or coordinate at all. It doesn't have to in my book. In your book, it may. All right, so that will go there. Um, I need some more white cardstock, so I still have this left over. Look it, that'll be perfect. Um, hold on. I missed something. I'm missing lots. Hang on. Yes, plugged in. Um, so far away. Teresa, what's far away? 
air conditioned running going. That's a good one, right? Now that ours is working again. Um, too small. Teresa, that's interesting. Um, interesting. Uh, Karen, Storyline Chapters is in my shop. Yes. Um, oh my gosh, the ice cream truck. Yes, for sure. All right, the picture. Um, so do you normally watch that way, Teresa? Interesting. All right, white card stock. I'm just thinking, 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 thinking. Because I think I, well, I don't know. Let me just play with something here, guys. So let's get out some ink. Let's get out one of our listed stamps. Um, maybe we'll do this guy. This is from list it three. I haven't used this one before. So let's use that guy. Yes, Kelly. Yeah, I know it took, we, we were talking, I don't know what happened before. So glad you, yes, glad those of you that are back. Well, that sounds kind of funny because if you're not here, you're not back and then I'm not talking to you. Um, if you found me, I'm glad. We don't know, quite know what happened there. So who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows? All right, so I think what I'm going to do here, this is the way, when I first started doing the list with the stamps, this is the way that I used to do them. So I think we'll just do it this way. Where instead of drawing the clip, instead of drawing, instead of stamping the clip, like up here and then having it clipping to the paper, I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Don't, don't do this. <laughs> I'm just pulling this in because it's easier to then clearing everything away. All right, so that's like this, and then this could be stamped right here, and my little list is below. But then that won't, that's, that's going to be too weird. It can't work that way. So we will. I need, okay, I'm gonna look for something in here. I think the clip, I might try to pull out a little bit of that kind of goldenish yellow color because if I use the good vibes, the good vibes will also kind of pull that in. So this might, maybe this one, maybe this mustard color. I think that's what we're going to do. So I will stamp the clip on the mustard one. And then cut it out. All right, where'd the stamp go? Oh, here it is. Get my little um, block here. Barcuzzi, oh my gosh, that sounds really fun. Enjoy, have fun. I don't even know what a barcuzzi is. Is that like a jacuzzi with a bar? I know, isn't it, um, Mary, to be spontaneous, right? To be able to be like, oh, hey, because we haven't been able to do that for a while, it seems like, huh? Don't do it that way. All right, haven't used this particular stamp before, so I really need to ink it up well. I need to prime it first. Um, just get this out. Um, I need to prime it first. And then I will test stamp it. Um, because since it hasn't been used before, I always like to do that first, prime it first, and then we'll do a little test stamp. All right, not enough ink. So um, when you first prime it, sometimes that happens if it's brand new, but then I also could need to maybe re-ink um, re the ink pad. There we go. All right. So see the difference? That was brand new stamp, never been inked before, inked it up really well, and it just needed to be primed. So re-inked it, and then I have a nice, really crisp image there. 
All right, so now we will stamp it on here. Oh, there's some good ones. I know you guys are chatting about your favorite sounds. So in the chat, favorite sounds. What's on your list? Crashing waves. Colleen's is thunder. Um, wind chimes, rain, violin. Very good. Very good. That's your list. Whatever you want your list to be. Um, doesn't have to. I'm not the one to say whether it's good or bad. Uh, so when we get going, I'll tell you what mine are. But then, yes, yeah, so we could do another list. We won't, but um, at least not today, of your least favorite sounds. Um, uh, and I think this just, you know, sometimes crying baby. Um, not the baby's fault, but sometimes, okay, check to see. No ink on the fingers. All right. Crying baby. Uh, oh, the big one, though. Um, nails on a chalkboard, right? Nails on a chalkboard. That is the worst. The worst, the worst, the worst. But then I was thinking beyond that, and I'm sure if we were all chatting about the what the worst sounds are, um, um, what the worst sounds are, we could all come up with some. Uh, children laughing, yep, babies laughing, that's one of the ones on my list. Every once in a while you'll see something on um, like Instagram or social media, or sometimes the Today Show. The Today Show um, every day does, what is their little thing that they do? I can't remember what it's called, but they do it like a really cute, like heartwarming video. Um, that someone has sent in or someone that they, you know, that they found. Um, but you'll see like the, a baby laughing hysterically. And oh my gosh, if, if a baby laughing hysterically doesn't put a smile on your face, it puts the biggest smile on my face. I just love it. So that's one of the ones on my list too. It's like a baby laughing or children laughing. Because you know what it is? It is, I think what that is, it's just, it's so pure. It is so pure. Um, as adults, sometimes, you know, we, we don't want to laugh too hard or we don't like the sound of our laughter. Sometimes it takes a lot to make you laugh hysterically about something. But children's laughter like that or a baby's laughter is just so pure. Yes, baby giggles. Yes, baby giggles. Um, so it's funny, Nancy, we have some same, we have some similar. I bet it'll be interesting. I bet a lot of us have some similarities in our sounds list. And it's one of those, I mean, obviously I thought of mine ahead of time. Um, usually about midweek is when I start thinking of new list ideas, but sometimes I'm on a roll. Like when I was thinking yesterday, I came up with like seven or eight new list ideas. Um, so when I start coming up with a list idea, then I just like let it kind of ruminate for a couple days and I'll just jot down like the sounds one, I'll just start jotting down things. And then um, the morning of um, is usually when I kind of fill in the blanks. If I can think of them, great. But sometimes I have to go to the internet because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't think anymore. And then you go and you're like, oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I didn't think of that. That's one of my favorite sounds. That's a good one. All right, so that will be my little clipboard, my little clip for my clipboard. And my clipboard will be the paper. All right, so let's now chop this off down here. Um, but I want some washi on this one, so I don't want to chop too far. Uh, actually, I'm just going to do that on the floor, so I don't have to bring that in again, okay? All right, here we go. Favorite sounds. This would be another one. This would be another fun one to do around the dinner table or with family or with friends or whatever. Um, just to talk with other people about what their favorite sounds are. My kid's saying, I love you, mommy. Oh, so cute. Tree toads. I don't know if I've ever heard a tree toad. And Tracy, I don't know if that, is that a good one or a bad one? Because we were kind of talking about bad too. Mechanical pencil when you shake it. Oh, roaring, roaring motors on a racetrack. Wow. Baby snore. Oh, but again, now some of these, I'm not sure. I, I'm assuming that a baby snore is a good thing. I kind of messed things up by throwing in a, a couple bad there. Oh, I know what I want to do. Uh, let's punch out the top of that. Let's punch out the circle. Um, lots of punches in there, in that drawer. Rapid, ooh, rapid camera snaps. I totally know that one. That's a good one. You know what it reminds me of? 
It's like the Duran Duran song, Girls on Film, right? Remember that song? At the very beginning, it's like the rapid camera snaps, totally. All right, so here we go. White then with our little clip right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this adhered down. Can't quite get that on right. I'd say this is probably, and you guys have been with me for a while, this is probably my go-to list design, right? Um, is using one of the clipboard stamps. That's kind of what started the whole thing, right? Um, so that would be our little right there, and it's like clipping the paper on. Um, it's just a quick and easy, but it's safe. It feels safe to me. Sometimes when I don't feel like I'm being very creative, then that's just a good, easy, a good, easy one to do. When your dogs have words with you, that's funny. Baby chinchilla cheeks. Okay, Lauren, I honestly have to say, I have no clue what that sounds like at all. I'll have to go Google it. What do baby chinchilla cheeps sound like? Okay, so good vibes. I know I wanna add that good vibes sticker. And actually, now that I think about it, I won't put that down there because then the good vibes would get in the way of that and I don't wanna do that. But I could do some washi. So let's see. I don't know, the cloud washi, the cloud washi could work. We'll see, it'll either work or not at all. Um, different collection, right? So the paper pad was from Storyline and the washi and the stickers are from Carefree. But that's the nice thing about most of what Heidi does is that you can blend and mix and match really easily. No, this is gonna really pull in a whole other pop of color that I don't know that I'm ready for. I don't think so. It's just too, it's just not, it's not there. So that won't work. I won't do that one. This could work. I mean, this is really safe. It's safe. Let's see. Um, no. Oh, well, let's look. Okay. We know this one will work. So let's start with this one. Yeah, totally safe. Mm -mm -mm. It has little words on it. I don't know if you can see that kind of tone on tone words. The sound of construction paper uh, being cut with scissors in a video. Very good. Garbage truck. So um, Lauren, is garbage truck good or bad? So then this one is fun. It's kind of a little bit of a rainbow. So we get in a little bit of color there. I don't know, we'll see. So I don't really have any of that color anywhere else. That is just not quite straight. Let's do that. That's kind of fun because it's a thick and a thin. Let's just leave that though, because we're not sure if we like it yet. But the good vibes, I think I want to use for sure. So that's like a gold, you can kind of see it's kind of a matte gold. So if this were to go right here, not in the center, because in the center it covers everything up. If this were to go maybe right here, along the edge, bleeding off the edge a little bit. Okay, that'll work. So now we'll rip that off and then cut the side off. Oh, very good, didn't grow up with trash service. Isn't, so this is interesting. Um, some of the favorite sounds associate with different memories, right? Or maybe what you had, or maybe you didn't have, or maybe, you know, maybe if you couldn't have kids and you never could have, you know, maybe the sound of babies laughing is really hard. You like it, but it's really hard because it reminds you, you know, it just, so different sounds for different people, right? Um, some are good and some are bad. All right, so this, let's, I think we'll outline that. That Well, I don't know, maybe not. Um, okay, so I 
I feel like we need something down here. Um, so one of the nice things, and Heidi does this a lot, she's a lot of label stickers. So sometimes you need just a little something and this would be a way to maybe pull in a little bit more of that blue. Remember on the on the uh, the cloud washi, I was a little bit hesitant to use the cloud washi because I didn't have any of that blue, but I ended up with a little blue right there. So maybe if I just lift this up ever so gently and then put this guy here as a little bit of an anchor. Let's just see what we look like. That'll work. And then we'll get this off. All right, so just a little tad, and it brings in a little bit more of that blue. But now what I can do if I want, I could now bring in even more of that blue. So the way that I could do that would be by using, oh, don't let me forget the title, friends. Um, I could use those light blue, um, All right, I can I can use those little light blues. Let me make sure that I have more. Hmm. So that's a different blue. Do I have any more of the light blues? Let me check. Hang on. Or the pinks, but I kind of like the thought of bringing that blue in. All right. So I don't have any more of that 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 light light blue, but I do have this teal. So let's see if the teal will work, if we can run with that. Um, oh, angel time. Oh gosh, Colleen, that was bad. I missed it by two minutes. <laughs> totally missed that. Oh yeah, the pop of baby food jars. I remember that, yeah. Addition, right? Adds a little bit more depth too. Oh, Karen, that's interesting. Might be one of your favorite ever of mine. Okay. You know what? It's the, I mean, I love Heidi's stuff. It's so, it's always so pretty and it's always really just, it ha definitely has a different vibe to it, right? It definitely has kind of a, a smoother, um, softer look to it. Um, let's see. I'm just looking at any of these. All right. So title. I need a title here. Um... Smells, 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 smells. Okay, I think what I want to do is, let's come back to one of these diggers on the ground. So, it's funny because I always include um, a list of a lot of the product that I use. And sometimes I think I'm going to use something, like I thought I was going to use Abigail, um, this alpha, and I didn't end up using it. I think I was thinking about using that on the first list, but I didn't use it. Um, but I think what I want to use here is the my type, the black my type. Not the not the my tie. Not yet. Not time for my ties yet. My type. Although, yes, we have a um, Nick. My husband is in a. I think I mentioned like this four day golf tournament um, that ends this afternoon, and then there's always a big party that night. Um, so we're going to that and it's it's dinner inside but everything else outside and there's a big concert and so although there will be not be my ties in my future there will be something else oh no no yes sounds sounds thank you sounds because I was did I I probably just said smells sounds that happened to me this morning too somehow I got on smells I'm like wait a minute it's not smells we've done smells sounds <laughs> let's get these out and start spelling sounds um Yes, yeah, so no Mai Tais in my future, but um, other adult beverages this evening for sure. A little dancing, and Nick and I took dancing lessons um, a couple months, May, May. Uh, so that will, uh, those will come in handy this evening, so that'll be fun. 
We also have a wedding to go to at the end of this month. Um, and it is a formal event and it's dinner and dancing. And so we will put our dancing, our newfound dancing skills to good use. Um, but we have to practice. We need to practice. So funny, Kylie. Um, yes, it's funny. Um, and thank you all for correcting me because you know what I would have done. I would have just been smelling, spelling smells here and then you guys would have had to type in all uppercase to be like, no, it's smell, it sounds. Um, so um, Kylie, yours says sabz. So there's an, a B in there instead of a D. It looks funny. Uh, okay, you know what? And I just, I didn't do what I always tell us that we should do before I started. I didn't check to make sure that I had enough of every letter. I've lucked out because that's the last D. I think I used the last N on this sheet. Um, but I say too, you can always mix cases. Sometimes it's fun to mix cases. Upper and lower in the same word. And I don't mean like capital S at the beginning. All right, sounds. So now what's interesting, um, okay, never mind. I'm just thinking. Um, this is the case when I wish that, let me just look at something. Yeah, no, that will look really weird. I just, it's, it's, um, I don't like that it sticks out, but that's okay. So that looks good. That's about where it wants to live. Press all those down and lift. That, low, that last S is gonna be a little bit low. So let's fix that. Sounds, okay. Um, and then we're just going to, oopsie. I think I just jogged this guy out of alignment, maybe. So with this, I wanted to do um, a font that was pretty nonsensical. I'm sorry, I don't mean nonsensical. Where did that word come from? Um, I wanted to do something that was really basic because this has a lot going on. And so I didn't want something that was like very um, like playful. So I didn't want something like this because then that doesn't really, you know, jive with that. I didn't want to do something like this guy because same thing. This is just a little bit too playful. I just needed something really basic. So that's why I picked that one. All right, sounds. Oh, I know. I was going to just write favorite right in here. Favorite sounds. So a little simple. And then this little period right there. The sounds of favorites. Oh yes, that would have worked too. The sounds of music. I just saw that. Um, I so Mary, Utah's the dancing capital of the world. Why? Uh, Melissa. So I am an equal opportunity stamper and alpha sticker person um, because clearly you can tell I like my alpha stickers. But um, yes, always, always, always lots of these things. Always lots of alpha stickers because they're, I mean, alpha stamps because they're fun too. All right, favorite sounds. And I think I need to do another one of these here. I keep kind of doing this on this grouping of lists. We'll just do a little teeny this time. A little teeny line to separate. All right, favorite sounds. So I think what I will do here, because I have a number of them, I think I will just do one big run on list and then put little hearts maybe in between the words. So if I do that, I think I will not, I think this blue is just not, I mean, it's close, but let's see. There's the blue or there's the pink and I won't alternate them because that will bug me. Blue or pink, what do we think? Oh yes, Dancing with the Stars. Um, yes, the brother and sister. The brother and sister were from here. The blondes, I don't remember their names, but. Um, oh, clipboard stamp. So this one, this particular one is listed three. 
So there are actually four different listed stamps, one, two, three, and then the um, mini clips and more. So mini clips is kind of a combination of, um, of all of the clips, most of the clips, but they're all little. So that's listed three. Yes, the Huffs. Yep, the Huffs. Um, oh gosh, I can't, yeah. And their names are totally escaping me too. Um, but I can see them. I can see them in my head. Uh, okay. Um, all right, friends, what did we think? Blue. Blue. Julianne and Derek, there we go. Okay, blue. We'll do the blue. All right, so I really wish I had the, all those light blue ones, but I don't, so we're not going to fret. Don't fret, Lael, don't fret. Okay, so... Um, A baby laughing. That was the first one on my list. Okay, so now I've already messed up. I mean, I didn't mess up, but I was going to try to separate all of the ones with a little um, heart, but then I'd put another heart there and that would be weird. Um, I know what I'll do this. Sometimes we have to change our list just to make it work. Baby laughing or giggling. And I also didn't want to, gosh darn it. I'm, okay. This is going to go right here because I want, uh, yeah, whatever. It's all good. Don't fret, nobody fret. Nobody panic, as my friend Karen says, nobody panic. Nobody panic, it's all good. A baby laughing or giggling. <laughs> all right. Um, oh, the, the waves crashing on the sand. That's probably one of my favorites. Like if I get stressed out and I can't sleep, then I'll turn on the on my on my phone the and I put it on. I don't know, it's like an hour long song, but it's not really a song. It is the waves crashing on the sand or the beach. Love that one. That one's very relaxing to me. I love the beach. I love the ocean. Um All right. Next up is the rain. I love the rain. Um, I don't particularly love the thunder. I think the thunder just, I don't know why, the thunder freaks me out. Must Maybe from when I was a little kid, but um, I don't, yeah, the rain though. I love the sound of the rain. I also love um, birds chirping. It's funny because these are um, quite a few so far, um, you guys have had on your list. Um, all right, so now, next one is a um, foghorns. Oh, foghorns probably bring back a lot of memories, right, Francis? Um, your in-laws home in Chicago, right? Because if I mean, a foghorn probably wouldn't be something that I would think of, but I think it's because there's so many memories for you surrounding that, right? And I think that's a lot um, for some of us. The, the sounds, they're, they're very fond memories, if you like the sounds, um, that are associated with those. Near a clock tower. Oh, yes, for sure. Um, let's see. A wooden sailing ship. Horse raspberries. Oh, as a sound. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, yeah, Nancy, exactly. The waves hitting the shore. I love that one. Wind chimes. <laughs> the cat. Okay. Birds chirping. Um, next one is a, um, a crackling. Campfire. I love the sound of that or crackling fire, crackling campfire, whatever that you call it. Um, the next one is, um, how do I say this? Like leaves crunching, you know when you step on leaves and they crunch, crunchy leaves? Um, maybe this. Walking on crunchy leaves. That's a good one. I like that one. 
Like I'll seek them out, right? You do that, you seek the leaves out that are crunchy so you can just step on them. Impact sprinklers, ah, like fall leaves underfoot. Oh, there you go, that would have sounded good. There you go, you guys are coming up with good ways for me to pronounce, I mean, not pronounce, but to, um, yes, to name things. Um, yes, next one is, um, I'm gonna sound it, I'm, I'm doing this a little bit different, a purring cat. Normally I wouldn't say that, I'd say a cat purring, but I needed to have a different place to put, oopsie, I needed to have a different place to put, um, one of those little hearts. And actually, now I, that I see something, so there's some more of those hearts, but I think what I might do is maybe, I don't know, we'll see, um, a purring cat. Here we go. Um, what's next? Oh, yes, this one's a good one. Um, and owl hooting. I know normally you'd say a hooting owl, but I said a purring cat, so I had to change that. An owl hooting. I love the sound of a hooting owl. Okay. Oh, yes. This is always a good one. I don't know if anyone has said this, or if they did, I missed it. Um, this is a... Um, a champagne cork popping. I think part of what makes that so fun is that uh, there's generally someone celebrating and that's always good, right? A champagne cork popping. All right, I, I still have lots. Um, popping popcorn. That's funny, good thing I wasn't using letter stickers. I'd have popping, popping, popcorn. Popping, popcorn. Popping, popcorn. <laughs> popcorn, popping. Popping, popcorn. Um, I also like the sound of a lawnmower. A lawnmower mowing. All right, so let's see. I should have room for one more. Um, the crack of a pop can, the fizz pop makes when it's freshly poured. Um, Diet Dr. Pepper being opened. Hearing the kids play at the pool. Oh, yes. But see, look how cool, Karen. I mean, when we're doing lists like this, you could have, I mean, you could just, it wouldn't even have to be a list. You could say, I love the sound of fill in the blank because fill in the blank, kind of like Mad Libs, right? You guys remember Mad Libs way back when? Um, that's also a good, if you get stuck on, if you're trying to journal something, um, kind of following that format, I think makes it easier to journal. I love this because I remember when fireworks, coffee brewing, ooh, coffee brewing, yes. Sound of a bat hitting the ball for a home run, yes. And that's very similar to a very um, like good solid golf swing. Like when the golf club hits the ball, it's usually on a drive, and here I am, I don't golf, so I act like I know what I'm talking about, but when you're driving the golf ball, yes, Debbie, when you're driving a golf ball. Um, so, let's see, I have well, just room for a little, so I have two more. I have um, a fan, <laughs> surprise, love the sound of a fan, but also, I really like the sound of a metronome. And I realize that that sound, well, it, it changes based on the speed, but um, I like that just tick, 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 which also sounds kind of like a, um, a sprinkler. All right, so that is, um, that's the end of my favorite sounds list. So I think um, I could do, let's just see what this would look like. I could bring out my handy dandy roller date stamp again. And, I'm not quite sure what it would look like, but I can test it by, let me get these put away. I can test it by, uh, hang on a sec. Just looking to see. Uh, 
I'm just looking to see if I had like a bigger heart starting this all out. I don't know. I think I kind of like that there. All right, let's put this guy back. Just a little bit of a bigger heart to start it all out. Um, violin and a rock song, a bathroom shower, piano playing. Uh, oh, rummaging through a container of embellishments like Brad's, yes. Um, also, there are many more. Oh, another one that I had on my list, but this is kind of an older thing. Uh, remember when, was it AOL? You've got mail, and it would tell you that. You've got mail. The other sound I like is um, on my website. Uh, I have an app that I can, you know, connect to my website, and you can turn it on so that whenever you get a sale, it plays like a little cash register, which that's a very exciting sound. I like that one, too. Um, oh, and then kind of along the same lines, if you are gambling or not gambling, I just kind of like the sound. Um, I like the sound of, well, definitely of the money. If you're in a, if you're in a slot machine, the money kind of coming out into the, you know, little, well, they don't really do that anymore. Right. Because I don't know if you cash out, however that works. Um, I'm not a huge gambler, but, um, the sound of that, or even the sound of the slot machine, they're like, ding -a -ling -ling, ding -a -ling, ding -a -ling, just like that, right? Didn't that sound like a slot machine? Ding -a -ling 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 -ling. Can pop a potato sticks. Oh, or, oh gosh, okay. How about this one? Um, but it's scary, right? So it gives you a little bit of anxiety if you're doing it. When you open um, one of those cans of like Pillsbury dough, like the Pillsbury, and it, and it goes, pop, and it all the air comes out, but it kind of scares you because it seems like it's going to explode, right? That's a good sound. Um, all right. Oh, yes, this. So, oh, yeah, I remember what I was going to do. Got totally sidetracked there. Surprise, surprise. Um, baseball card in the spokes of your bike. Yes. All right. So what I wanted to test out, what did I do with the um, extra scrap of this? Oh, here it is. So, again, I'm going to do a little test since I'm not sure if I will like the way this looks. I'm thinking that I could stamp that right down there, but I will test on my little piece of scrap paper here that I cut off to see if we like it or not. Because then it would kind of bring in a little bit more, why did I do that? That was silly. Um, bring in a little bit more of the black down at the bottom. I think I'm going to like that, but let's just double check. So, yep, that'll work. Okay, now we're ready to commit. Is that the Debbie? Is that the song that goes money, 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 money? That song? Okay. Black violin. I'll have to look, I'll have to go look that up. I don't know what that is. Black violin. All right. Here we go. We're dating, we're dating, we're dating. Oh, I can already tell it's not centered left to right, but that's okay. Oh, it's not bad. It's just a little off from that one. All right, there we go. There is our third list and it will go. Oh, the Pink Floyd with the cash. Oh yes, okay, the Pink Floyd with the cash registers. I know, I know that one. Um, all right. Yes. Yep. I won't try to sing it. Money. That one, right? <laughs> that's the only word that I know of that, but I think that's how it starts. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to have to go Google that now because now it's going to bug me because I think I've got a couple different songs in my head for that money song. All right. So there we go. Favorite sounds. Um, the only thing left to decide is if this gets outlined. So let's just pretend again. Pretend. Oh, that's not going to work. Pretend right up there. Yeah, it needs to be outlined. You're like, well, duh. Why did you even check? Because you knew you'd want it. So you should have just done it and not even tested it first. 
right? And the big question is who's having ice cream today now or tonight or this weekend? One of those little ice cream sandwiches is gonna find its way into my future. All right, there we go. Third list, money, it's a drag. Oh yeah, okay. Um, all right. Okay, friends, I am going to flip the camera now. And, uh, okay, unplug, had to think about that for a minute. Unplug, and here we go, ready? One, two, three. Ooh, that was, um, I didn't quite loosen that all the way, so it was a little bit. All right, friends, hmm. Let's just get that all straight-ish. Okay. Um, all right. So our three lists today, that was fun. Sorry that we had whatever technical difficulties we had in the middle. So hopefully, um, if you were watching the replay, you found us here on the second session. Um, or if you, after the first one, went, okay, I'm good, um, that you join us for the rest of it. Um, all right. We have another giveaway this week. So just as a quick reminder, once the video is over, not in the chat, leave a comment on, well, and now you can leave a comment on either one and I'll find another prize. Um, we'll do uh, on both. Um, but leave a comment on either or both of the videos. You can do both if you want, because um, that could double your chances. Uh, the prize for this week is the um, Just Chill Bundle. So the stickers, the um, six by eight pad, and the die cuts. Uh, most, if not all, of what we use today is in the description of the video down below. Um, we will be together again next Saturday, so that would be the 17th. Um, and then again on the... Oh, that calendar's not filled in. So we'll be the next two weeks, the 17th and the 24th, and then we will be doing a hiatus again for two weeks because I will be out of town two different weekends in a row. So... Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your week. Um, stay cool. Some of you I will be seeing once and or twice this week, uh, really quick on Monday, Monday. Yes. Monday. We have the sweet and simple, uh, file folder mini book class. Um, so you should have an email already about that, but I'll send a reminder out again tomorrow for that class. It's Monday. And then this coming Thursday, we have the Twilight Traveler's Notebook class. So if you purchased either of those kits, then we have um, classes this week and I will see you for either or both of those. If not, I hope to see you guys next Sunday. Stay safe and um, enjoy. Bye-bye.